What up, bitches? <laughs> Welcome to my top 55 song list of 2022. Two, two, two. I never did a video like this. I've always done top 50 albums of every year. So I was like, that's why I do songs. There's a lot of great songs that came out this year and I want to share them. There's no in particular order. I feel like every song on here is a banger. Um, I've liked them and I love them to some extent. Um, obviously, I like them for certain reasons and other songs. I like them for certain reasons. So, you know, if there are some songs I missed, I list out and you're like, huh, I gotta go check out that one. Go check it out. Links in all the links is in the description box below. So you better go check them out. I ain't putting y'all niggas on for nothing. It's the internet. We, we, we exchange information. It's like the foreign exchange, by the way. Um, remember when y'all wear a coat back until what happened to the foreign exchange? A lot of great songs came out this year, and I wanted to just highlight them really briefly. Um, I'll go over, like, the the bottom 30, and then, like, probably the top 20 will go into more detail. So, let's get started, shall we? 55 we have is I Don't Know What Breathe. Great dance song. I love I Don't Know on this song. 54 is Michael Jackson's The Toy. A great demo off the Michael Jackson's Thriller Anniversary CD. I've got 53 with West Side Boogie with Killer Mode. Man, shout out to Storm Ford with that. You know, you've been doing your thing, girl. Really proud of you for that. Really great energy great opener a lot of great vocalizations and melodies with that song a 52 we have Isaiah Rashad Bliss with Zachariah oh man they, they have a great chemistry together and just Isaiah just literally rides the beat for days uh, we have 51 with Tiana Major 9 with Two Seater man that song is really blissful it's really beautiful I love Tiana on this one and uh, I think this is just a nice R&B song that you guys would definitely enjoy if you haven't heard of music already we got number 50 with Omario Apollo Evergreen I know people love this song because of TikTok but please remove TikTok from their mind from this song and just listen to it as a song because it's really beautiful and i think omario really does his shit on this song to make it his uh we got 49 with vince staples magic i could have went with the when the sparks fly but this song is catchy love dj mustard on this song it's just some great west coast shit that you guys will definitely enjoy uh we got 58 with ricky Mon uh monique with immortal uh, if you guys love kendrick lamar no name and even chance the rapper just that jazzy but you know with a lot of great miracle lyrical kind of rap um, but she's saying a lot of nuanced shit with this uh, with this song. You'll definitely enjoy this song. Uh, 47 we have is Orion Sun with intro. It's so catchy. It's so smooth. It's just so relaxing. If you're just going out for a jet or a jog or a walk or just a skate or a bike, you'll definitely play this around the summertime. It's so freaking good. 46 we have is Open Mic Eagle with I'll Fight You. Just a great beat, you know what I'm saying? Very minimalistic, but Open Mic Eagle is just giving y'all bars for days, you know what I'm saying? I love Open Mic Eagle, very eccentric under ground artist that a lot of people need to know about we got 45 with Kochi's turn it up oh, energy on this is amazing um i love the energy on this one i love that it kind of has another beat switch that kind of has the same type of flow as the first beat but yeah coach is amazing on the strike don't need to say more about that uh we got 44 with gunna with pussy power featuring drake i can't even lie this song is just freaking infectious i'm not even a big gunna fan but i, I love this song a lot the moaning i could have done without but i think it just adds much to the song and uh, it's, it's just fun i, I could have added you know uh pushing p or i could have added that 21 savage song um from that album but i think the song i played a lot during the beginning of the year so we have 43 with dreamville stick with j cole jid and um I, I can't remember the other two. Um, I think Sheck West was on there as well too, but really great energy from those guys. It's just amazing. Like I, I completely love, love, love that song. The beat is amazing. DJ drama uh, drops are fantastic as always. And um, yeah, you know, great song overall. Um, we got 42 at Logic with Vinyl Days. Finally, he sounds like he's Return to form. Shout out to DJ Premier on production. Uh, just you know, sounds like classic logic. You know what I'm saying? He's definitely putting a little bit more in his pen. So enjoyed that song a lot. 41 we have is Mike Oddways. Man, Mike has really been doing his shit this year. He actually dropped the album. Uh, by the time I'm recording this video, he dropped the album. I want to say a few days ago. So definitely go check out that record if you haven't already. But yeah, shout out to that boy Mike. You dig what I'm saying? 41 we have Rihanna. Lift me up. Uh, it was really nice to hear her again after so long. You know, especially being tied up with the Wakanda Forever soundtrack. And I really love this song. Very passionate vocals from Rihanna and just makes you just understand that yo she's one of the goats and she's definitely been doing it uh for a long time and this is just a song that just tells you and just reminds you that yeah she's that woman you feel me uh we got 39 with jimmy crook with drake um i'm not a big honestly never mind fan i don't like that record but i think this is one of the more highlights of this record and i would be a liar if i didn't say i played this song more this year 
Uh, 38, we have his little Sims Angel. Now this is a song off for No Thank You record that came out a few uh, weeks ago prior to this recording, and it's fantastic. You know, Wilson is doing her shit. Wasn't expecting an album from her, but honestly, the lyrics are fantastic. The beat is here is great. Cleo also is great on this song, so overall, fantastic song. We got 37 with Tyler the Creator and ASAP Rocky with Lost and Found Freestyle. Love that song. Man, the energy on there is fantastic. Apparently, they recorded it in 2019, but it just sounds even great here. Like, I just love hearing that shit in capacity. Tyler killed it. ASAP Rocky killed it as well, too. Great energies all around. Uh, we got 36 with Mavi's baking soda. Man, just here, Mavi on. She's pure element, pure element here. Just wordplay, fantastic. Uh, just beat here, fantastic. Storytelling, fantastic. Just great single all around from this album. Uh, we got 35 with Wait for You with Future. Not a big Future fan, but I did love this song with Drake and Tim's. Love the sample as well too. I love how Tim's is utilized on that sample. So shout out to them for making a really good uh, radio hit. Definitely one of the the, the biggest and, and, and the best songs off the Future record. Uh, we got 34 with NBA Young Boy. Mm -hmm. I know, I know, NBA Young Boy. But hey, he makes some fun music, bro. I can't even lie like that. Kick that shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, uh, I like sophisticated ignorance. I like that soft shit, but then I like that hard shit. You know what I'm saying? What do you mean by that? I like that conscious shit, but I like that ignorant shit. This just falls into the ignorant shit with me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like when you in a party, when you in the club, bro, shit go crazy. So <laughs> I like that song, just pure off energy itself. We got 33 with Redville PG Baby. Redville's just been doing this thing. This nigga is like what 18 or 19, just young, doing it in the game. He actually has a remix with Denzel Curry on this song. So definitely love uh, PG Baby. The sample on here is fantastic. 32, we have is Labyrinth with Zendaya, I'm Tired, off the Euphoria soundtrack. I love this song. If you guys watched the show season two, you guys know that season is has a little bit of a mixed bag, but I personally like it. And just the soundtrack for it, just tying up the whole themes of, you know, Rue and, you know, Jules and everybody else's characters um, with that show. I think the fan is a great song as, you know, I, I, I personally just love and I get a lot of, out of that song personally. We got 31 with Pusha T, uh, Neck and Wrist with uh, Jay. Z and I want to say Pharrell Williams. Yep, I love that song. Great song off of It's Almost Dry. It's just a banger. I mean, come on, there's nothing more else we need to say. It's fucking Pusha T. We got 30 with FK Twigs. This is with Georgia Smith. Bay right here. I love this song. Just pure energy. I mean, it sounds like a New York drill beat, but I just love to FK Twigs on this song, and I love Georgia Smith, uh, her contributions to this song. It's just a fun overall dance and drill song, so I, I love the fusion between those two genres. We got uh, 29 with Conway the Machine, Stress. Definitely one of the most best hip-hop records to come out this year. Personally, his storytelling is just great here. Just, you know, detailing, just, like, with a really grimy beat that could have really come straight out of the 90s from, like, you know, mob deep or even like wu-tang or whatever but i just love the storytelling on this and honestly it's just really hard hitting when you really listen to the whole entire record from uh, conway the machine so great song on that end we got 29 with benny the butcher with uh johnny p caddy with j cole man this song is fantastic man i mean nothing more i need to say about this song j Cole kills it definitely one of his best features when it comes to features he's never going to disappoint the beat here is really good shout out to the alchemist definitely j cole needs to be in more alchemist beats that just needs to happen more often um, we got 27 with Kanye West and XXX Tentacion with True Love. This was on Donna too, but I personally like this song. I like X's uh, vocals. It doesn't sound really phoned in. I don't know. I like uh, X's, you know, passionate vocals, even though he's been dead for like four years. It's just nice to always hear him on a song. You know, Kanye's not you know, too bad on this song, but I just personally just like it for the sentiment because X is on there. 26 with Kehlani, Wish I Ever. I love the Slick Rick sample on this one. Uh, just really fun. Kehlani's been doing her thing uh, this year, and I I just have to add this song on here because she's just it's, it's just really fun energy really great vibes on this song and you can just definitely tell she was definitely having a great time just making and putting this song together makes it groove makes it you know dance a little bit so you know shout out to kaylani has a really nice 90 bop to it um we have 25 with come my way with saba i really love this song i played it a lot over the year um you know the the chorus is really catchy i love saba's contribution on it obviously this the beat's probably my favorite honestly uh this was just like one of my fit like this was a song that uh me and a friend like really loved back in the day it was just great I i'm just really happy for saba this year we got 27 with freddie gibbs rabbit vision man Lynn, a lot of shit 
learn, but it, but it fixed my visions or, or, or I don't, I'm kind of paraphrasing, but that lyric right there is, oh, Freddie Gibbs really killed it really with the pen on that song. This just solidifies Freddie Gibbs as just one of the ones to really do it this year. So shout out to Freddie Gibbs on that one. We got 23 with D. Lenore, uh, Rose to Royalty. I love this song, man. I mean, I gotta shout my boy out. I mean, D. Lenore really killed it on this song. If you guys don't know who D. Lenore is, Ronald Carter, you know, born and raised in Mount Vernon, New York. He's definitely a friend of mine. He's a local native artist. And I just needed to, you know, shout my boy out because this nigga is on that shit. If you guys like trap music and, you know, a little bit of melodic shit, then you'll definitely like this song. It's a, it's a great song. It's a really great song. 22, we have is Anago with Anonymous. Now, don't be confused with the album because the album is called Anago, but there's a track called Anago on the album. It's a really great storytelling song, kind of, you know, fitting into the narrative between his father and then his life. And it's just, the beat here is amazing. And Anon pretty much produced everything off that record. And just to continue, just, con you know, Growing as an artist the way Anon has been doing it, Anon has just been doing it, killing it, and I'm just so proud of Anon for just sticking to his guns with this record. So shout out to Anon for that one. 21 we have is Joey Badass with Brand New 1991 with uh, West Side Gun. I love the beat on here. It just sounds like classic uh, Rox, uh, Rox Marciano. It sounds like something that he would be on, or maybe even like uh, Conway the Machine, or just, you know, any Kurt Zella member for that matter. Uh, hell, even, I can even he uh, hear Boldy James on this shit. You know what I'm saying? This is very classic joey badass really does his shit love the boom boom booms of the alibs that west side does on here it's just a close, straight straight great song from uh the 2000 record uh we got 20 with beyonce alien superstar what more needs to be said about renaissance or just that song in general i think this is just the more fan favorite just the general consensus everyone loves this song it's just great love to see beyonce just continue to keep on uh trying new things being experimental and uh it just adds to a really fantastic and entrancing song from her 19 with damo genesis day one more day if you guys love alchemist and you love earl mike mavi and that underground sample type of you know soundscape then you'll definitely love this i love damo genesis on there the wordplay is really great and that's just the type of music that i've just been on recently so i just have to really put it on this list I'm gonna give 18 to Samaya, the story. The storytelling on this, obvious, you know, ironic enough, is really good. I really love Sama uh, Samaya on this one. She definitely have been improving her pen. And even this, the instrumental is really fantastic and really great too. So you guys like R&B, you would definitely love this song. I, um, you guys don't, don't know Samaya, of course, I reviewed her this uh, earlier this year. So you guys need to go check her out. 17 to Killing Them by Yeet. I know Yeet, right? Yeet? on my song list you yeah, listen like i said conscious ignorance i need that ignorant you feel what i'm saying i know i could have put flawless on there but killing it i always just keep coming back to the the background vocals always gets me the hmm woo! pristine always man i love that shit 16 to joyce rice ice tea man kick the does a fan banging job with this song man dun -dun 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 -dun. Man, I love Joyce Rice. You know, I wasn't really a big fan of her other uh, album, but this this EP really hit it for me. Something clicked with this EP for me. So shout out to Kei Trinata and Joyce Rice with that one. It's a really groovy, sexy, very just feel good track. I, I love them for it. Um, I'm gonna give 15 to Samino with no L's. Man, shout out to uh, Monica Sample on that one. Man, this everyone just loves to sample Knock Dark. That's like probably one of hip hop's most known samples. But I love Samino's flip on this one, especially the beat switch around the end of this song. It's really good. Really enjoyed it. Definitely give it a shot if you haven't already, or if you haven't listened to the Samino track already, or the album. Uh, fifth, uh, 14, I'm gonna give it to Brock Hampton with Brock Hampton. If you guys don't know, Brock Hampton dropped their loot two last two projects, and there is, you know, a project, a song off the family project called Brock Hampton. Is Kevin Abstract just going over? a lot of the shit that the band has been going through over the years and just all the good memories that they had, the bad memories, you know, uh, more heartwarming and wholesome moments that when they were recording as a group. And this is really good. The sample on here is good. Kevin's performance is really heartwarming. And I just really enjoyed this song from front to back. Um, 13, I'm gonna give it to Ari Lennox with Mean Mug. Man, Mean Mug is really great. Like her vocals just ascends when it gets to the chorus. That sax on there is fantastic. The ambiance on there is fantastic. Great song overall. Number 12, I'm gonna give it to SZA with Blind. Man, I know this song just came out and this album just came out not too long ago, but I gotta give it to SZA. SZA just kills it on here. 
love blind a lot love the acoustic and i just love that it kind of gradually builds up as the song gets um gets on it's really good really really good song and the lyrics on here is fantastic shout out to Scissor. 11 i'm gonna give it to absol with gotta rap man the dj premiere uh beat is fantastic this shit proves why absol is one of the best lyricists and the one of the best to fucking do it out here and why i fucking love te so much just the Mm, the, just the lyrics, the storytelling, the delivery, everything, man. Just go listen to that song if you haven't already. And we're getting on to the top 10. Like I said, no particular order, but I just wanted to shout them out. I got to give it to Little Uzi Vert with Wanna Walk. I know it's a really short song and repetitive song, but I like it. It's a nice dance Jersey song, so I'll be dancing to it sometimes. I can't help. It's an earworm, so shout out to Little Uzi Vert. Um, now I'm going to give it to Bad Habit by Steve Lacey. I could have put Cody Freestyle on here. But Bad Habit is really one of my favorite songs. I know it's as cliche as it sounds, I love Bad Habit. It's a really fun and great track from Gemini Wrights, and I wouldn't want to have it any other way. Number eight, I'll give it to Big Panthers with Take Me Home. I know this song kind of came out, I want to say a year or so ago, but it released and dropped this year because she kind of put it on streaming services. But I love that song. I love Take Me Home. I love the lyrics. I love this, the, the beat, the house influence, just, Oh my God, Pink Panthers, man. I love this woman so much. I have to go see her at a bowling room or something. She's just great energy, great vibes. Just, oh, just euphoric beat, honestly, overall. Number seven, I'm gonna give it to Joji with Glimpse of Us. Man, this song is definitely one of those songs where if you are going through a heartbreak, please, please avoid the song at all costs. But if you haven't, go listen to the song because it's a nice, great ballad from Joji. His vocals really do pop out on that song. And I think you guys will definitely enjoy that song overall. Uh, number six, I'll give it to Walking by Denzel Curry. Walking is a great song, great single for Melt My Eyes to Your Future. I mean, come on, this is Denzel Curry we're talking about here. I mean, shit, Denzel fucking Curry, bro. Like, this is the, this is Zeltron, you feel me? Man, like, the beat switch on here is fantastic. The wordplay on here is fantastic, man. It's a great motivational song, and I'm so happy for Denzel for really moving forward with his life. So, shout out to Denzel once again, man. I'm gonna give it number five. I'm gonna give it to The Heart Part Five by Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar, man, I mean, he's back. So happy that the nigga is back after so long. And you know, the heart series, probably the best one out of the heart series. I still love uh, part three, but part five, man, that Marvin Gaye sample, whoo, just taking out the culture, the flaws of our black culture, and the hypocrisies and the contradictions of the heart of the black culture. And just, I, I love how he portrays it the music video, everything. Great overall song. It's amazing. Nothing less from Kendrick Lamar. And just, just, whoo, just. Overall fantastic. Number four, I'm gonna give it to Jid with Cody Blue 31. I mean, this is Jid we're talking about here. That song made me cry, man. It's a good song. I mean, very heartfelt. Strings are fantastic. Jid singing is fantastic. Overall amazing song. And guys haven't heard about it, please go listen to it. I'm a, number three, I'm gonna give it to All Mine by Brent Fias. I mean, this song is definitely one of my songs of the year. I mean, I can't stop listening to the song. I mean, this song kind of was the soundtrack to my villain era this year and this song is just always going to be an ear grab for me from just the beat the 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 his his lyrics um even though they're pretty toxic for the most part his vocals just tell about this song man you just feel so comatose when you listen to it i mean i just love it everything i feel like when i listen to the song i have a whole flashback of this year to january to now and brent fire is just one of those artists to ever just uh just to do it I'm gonna give two to Earl Sweatshirt, Fire in a Hole. Love this sample. I'm so happy that this song is on the album because I saw a live performance with the song and I'm really happy he made it on the record. I mean, it's definitely one of his best closures and you know, the sample on here is great. Earl is fantastic on here. The ending, you know, from the piano is really good. And yeah, the and I'll have to say number one uh, is The Weeknd, Less to Zero. Man, this song is great. The Adon FM project, even though it's not my favorite, I still prefer After Hours, but Less Than Zero is still a great, amazing song, and it's just a nice conclusion to um, Don FM. And that is my top 55 songs of this year. Like I said, want to make it very short and concise, straight to the point. If you guys have your favorite song, comment in the section below. What's that song of the year? Your top 20, top 50, your top 15, 10? I don't know. I want to just make this video. Um, top 15 albums are coming very, very soon. Um, I'm kind of recording all these videos in the span of one day because after reflection, you guys see that I'm still wearing the same shirt. So 
yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little list um yeah go check the songs out these songs are great i'll leave links in the description box below if you guys want to hear them or maybe i'll probably put a playlist there if you guys want to go listen to them all together so yeah so yeah thank you guys for watching show you guys uh playlists or your songs in the comment section below and um yeah i'll see you guys for the top 15 albums of this year peace